y'all i'm at school sorry i didn't check in when i first got here it was just a a struggle this morning i had to go upstairs and make copies and i didn't have a lot of time so i thought i would touch base with you guys now my kids are at lunch i just got them all settled in um i got a new student and he is very interesting he um doesn't really act like he wants to be here so i think he's testing the waters a little bit but i'm gonna love him until he loves being here um you know he's just made a few little comments and tried to get attention but i am doing my best and i think that hopefully pretty soon he will want to come to school and want to be here and have a better attitude about it but we shall see we did our rotations this morning and my tutor that comes in in the mornings wasn't here so I actually worked with a small group on writing a summary and I found this really cool flip chart I don't really know where I got this. I think it was a freebie on Teachers Pay Teachers. So this is a way that they can remember what goes in a summary. So they say, who wanted but so then? And they just write it under here. But today we just use this to kind of help us before we started writing. And I'm hoping that it's going to give them some way to remember what they need to write in a summary and i told him it was two to three sentences because they want to write all the details and everything from the story and that's you know something that i've noticed second graders struggle with they don't know how to summarize basically so um i thought this might help them and we read henry and mudge and the long weekend and we did a chapter at a time. So we read a chapter and then I would say, okay, who is the main character? And they would say, Henry, Henry wanted, whatever Henry wanted, but so then. And then tomorrow I'm gonna continue doing this and maybe have them write it, but we'll see. Cause I have this other page that goes with it. And it says SWBST summary. And it says use your, using your completed foldable write a summary. It should capture the story in about two to four complete sentences. So I'm gonna work with this group until they have got it down pat because I think they struggle with written comprehension. And so when they say it and they do it out loud over and over and over, and then they learn to write it over and over and over, hopefully it will come naturally fingers crossed but I am going to make sure that I have everything prepared for my lesson when they get back for science and go chat with my grade level find out what we need to take for our formal PLC today and I will check back with you guys later look at this stress every time I get stressed out I get a fever blister on my lip it's so frustrating um, but I just put some Carmex on it and that's all I can do. I just have to wait it out. So I'm going to go get a bottle of lunch and I'll see you guys soon. So I just finished my second round of tutoring. This afternoon has been go, 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 go since we got back from specials. Um, I did math rotations this afternoon and my kids were playing, well, two groups were doing math games that they just learned this week. One group was finishing up some missing equations, missing equations, missing numbers, excuse me, on a hundreds chart, hundreds, two hundreds, three hundreds, four hundreds, and five hundreds. And then one group was doing how many stickers, how many more to a hundred. And that was the group that I was working with. And they seemed to do okay. We only did two rotations because we have recess kind of right in the middle. Plus I do a little bit of whole group right at the beginning. So we may carry over and do that again tomorrow so they can do the other two rotations so that everybody has a chance to do all of the different things. And then I dismissed and I had to go straight upstairs to tutor. Tutoring went pretty good today. They are still doing multiplication and division and, you know, 
just trying to working on that vocabulary like product and factor and quotient and those kinds of things and figuring out what to do in a word problem and the word problems that the teacher gave me were pretty um challenging as far as having to listen to the word problem and then solve it like this one says um on the control panel of a jet airplane there are 10 rows filled with three buttons each how many buttons total are on the control panel so we did word problems like that and yeah so not too shabby I am back in my room. It's 10 minutes till four. I am going to do my newsletter. I haven't done that yet. Straighten up my room, get ready for tomorrow. And then I am going to head out of here. So I'll touch base with you guys then. Well, I am pretty much ready for tomorrow. I had to print out my new reading logs for the next three weeks because I do three weeks at a time for their baggy books. And I straightened my room a little bit and laid out their morning tubs for tomorrow and now i'm gonna head on out so thank you guys so much for watching this video today i hope that you enjoyed it be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me and i will see you guys tomorrow bye Happy Friday. I did not get to film when I first got to school this morning because of course our copier is still broken and I had a few things that I needed to run upstairs and copy so by the time I got that finished and back down to the room it was time for my kids to come. So they came in this morning and they did their morning tubs until about 8 30 which is not normal i usually make them clean up around 10 after and then we do our morning meeting and then go right into our lip block but we had a special guest this morning a guidance counselor who she's not our guidance counselor but she's one i guess she works for the county and she goes to different schools to talk about personal safety she came in this morning and did a 45 minute lesson on personal safety which was super convenient for me because I was able to get my newsletter done, print it out. I got my baggy book logs taken out of their, the old ones taken out and the new ones put in. Um, my Friday folders are stuffed and so it was a nice little break for me in the morning, especially, oh and then I also had like seven kids bring field trip money so I had to count all that, receipt all that. It was just a crazy morning, but it was nice that she was here and I had time to do that. So then my skill group students went upstairs and while they were gone, the rest of my class worked on a Scholastic News. We did Predator on Ice today, finally. We did Prey on Ice a couple of weeks ago and just now had a chance to do Predator on Ice and my kids really liked it. It was nice because they could connect it to the other one that we did. And then we did four sheets, main idea, predictions. Um, there was one where they had to draw something that a wolf does, like an adaptation that they have to catch food. And then one of them was just like a reading checkpoint. So they worked on that and I had several kids get finished, which was nice. Uh, the ones that went upstairs, I told them not to worry about it because they were out of the room for 45 minutes and there's no way that they would have time when they got back to work on it. So they are at lunch now. Um, by the way, the rolls have grass on them again today. <laughs> Just kidding. If you watched my previous video about how kids are so funny, one of my little girls told me last week that the rolls had um, grass on them. So today I saw they had the herbs on them again and I walked over to her and I said, look, the rolls have grass again. And she was like, and then gave me a big hug. She's sweet. 
But they're at lunch. When they get back, we are going to talk about physical activities that they enjoy. And I've got this little busy body cut out. They're gonna write down the activity that they enjoy doing for exercise. Color their little person, cut it out. And then I made this chart and we're going to put them on here and graph so we can see you know what our class's favorite physical activities are and since it is February and it's heart month we've been talking about ways to stay healthy and that their heart is a muscle and we have to take care of our heart and um, exercise and don't do things that harm our bodies and our hearts. And then typically we have our formal PLCs on Thursday, but we are having it today. So once we finish science, I'll be taking my kids to STEM lab and then I will be going down for our PLC. I have two random math assessments from kids who are absent that I need to score and put together with the other ones because I put them in ABC order. So I'm gonna do that and then it'll probably be time for me to go get my kids. So I will probably see you guys after school. Like a shirt. Uh -huh. I'm making mine in gym. Swimming isn't up there. You like gymnastics and running. And I like gymnastics. Gym. Y'all are the soccer stars in the class, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Y'all play soccer all the time. What did you do? Or soccer's at this table. Mm -hmm. Do you play soccer? I made it through the day. I'm back in my room. It's three o'clock. I just sent my kids home for the weekend. And yeah, so now I have things that I have to do today before I leave. All the teachers in the school are required to go into Google Classroom and read an article. And then we have to comment on two other teachers' comments. And it's due today. And I have the article, but I haven't read it yet, so I'm going to read it. And then I'm going to go in and type in my comments first. <clears throat> And then I need to plan for next week. I know what I'm doing, but I don't have it in my plan book yet. And of course our copy machine is still broken. So I'm gonna have to make a pile of things to take upstairs and copy. You guys, it is so frustrating. I mean, the copy machine is literally like 50 steps from here and it's broken. And so I have to go like down a hall, up some steps, down another hall, in a room, it's just, so inconvenient and usually you know if I need a quick copy I can run normally I can just step out make a quick copy and be back in here no problem but I can't do that when I have to go all the way upstairs I also am going to lay out my morning tubs for Monday morning and we are starting a new unit in our literacy block next week called a long journey to freedom so we're going to be reading about segregation and some different people who made an impact on that time like Rosa Parks and Ruby Bridges and Jackie Robinson and Henry Bo Henry Box Brown and some other people and it's just my kids love this unit I love this unit it's completely an eye-opener for these kids because they have no idea about segregation and how things used to be so it's just a great unit and I'm super excited for it so we're gonna start with a book called Henry's Freedom Box on Monday I love that story it's so great so I'm gonna get that ready for Monday and then math we did math rotations this afternoon y'all it is even after going over directions being very clear, having them repeat it back to me, it's still like, they're like piranhas. I don't know. I've got some papers I need to take home to grade or yeah, I'm probably gonna take them home because I do not wanna stay late today. So I'm gonna get some work done and head on out. 
thank goodness it's Friday. How come every time I say I want to get out of here early, it's like 5 o'clock before I leave? It's 5 o'clock now. Um, one of my team teachers came in a few minutes ago and asked me what I was doing for my small group time on Monday. And it completely left my mind that we were doing small groups on Monday. So I've been looking on readworks.com or .org, readworks.com readworks.org I think and found a complex text which is a couple of levels above the students that I'm going to be having on Monday and I read an article today about fluency and uh, text complexity so I printed out the article it's a fiction article about an alley cat or about a cat. I can't remember the name of it. And I'm gonna take it home and read through it. And I think I'm gonna start with fluency first and having them, you know, I'll read it. We can read it together over and over and over. Discuss the meaning of it, vocabulary, just kind of digging deeper into a piece of complex text. And then, you know, maybe later on in the week or even the next week, start doing different skills with it. I don't know. That's why I'm going to take it home and look at it. But I'm going to go grab that off the printer. My bag is packed. And then I'm going to head on out to my parents' house. Thank goodness it's Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you did. Comment down below and let me know what you guys use for complex text in your classroom. I have eight kids in my small group, which is not very small, but we don't have enough bodies to have smaller groups. So I'm using readworks.org to find the text that I need for that small group. So let me know what you guys use. If you have any websites that you know of that have really good complex text with comprehension skills and text dependent questions and those kinds of things, because I would love to have some other resources to use. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see videos from me in the future. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye. Hello and happy Monday. It is lunchtime and my kids are having lunch in the cafeteria. I am back in my room for just a second. I am going to go have a bite of lunch myself, but I thought I would check in with you guys. We started our small group time today, so I had five kids in my group. I have eight, but three of them were absent. So we started reading and annotating a piece of text today, which they seem to be really into it. I'm just going to focus on that close reading aspect for a little while just to kind of build that vocabulary and build their meaning for reading and uh, understanding and all of that. So it went pretty well for the first day. I hope that I can keep their attention and keep them engaged with this same story for a while just because I want to really dig into it and make sure that they're understanding what they're reading. We have guidance today, so after lunch I'll be taking my kids down to guidance and then straight to music. So I will have a nice long planning time today, which is good because I need to plan my literacy and math for the rest of the week because I haven't done that yet. So I thought I would catch you guys up. I'm going to go eat and I will see you guys in a little while. So I was completely dreading tutoring this afternoon, but it's over and I'm back in my classroom. I have to go up there like immediately after school starts to get started because it's our school lets out at 2.30 and tutoring starts at 2.30. So I literally send my kids down the hall and then go upstairs and they have snack for 15 minutes and then at 2.45 we get started. Um, so I just got back to my room. It is four o'clock. I stayed after with the teacher that I am working with to kind of talk about what we want to do next week or not next week. Seriously. I forgot what I was saying. 
Um, I don't have a whole lot of papers to gray today. I think I actually don't have any, as a matter of fact. So that's good. I won't have to take anything home. Our copy machine is still broken. So I went down to the first grade hallway earlier today during my planning and took a whole bunch of stuff to copy. So I think I'm pretty good for tomorrow. I need to run a folder down to the office and check my mailbox and then I'm going to head on out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future. You can head on over to my channel to check out some other videos that I've uploaded in the past. Subscribe to my channel so you can see videos from me in the future, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!